New head coach David Beatty takes on a rebuilding project in Lawrence. This is Jayhawk Football on the Big 12 Digital Network. Here comes Cummings toward the goal line. Yeah, to the stripe. He's got it. Touchdown. We have high expectations, and with those high expectations are going to come high standards. A new year marks a new season of Jayhawks football, and it's a season that should be full of challenges. Beatty hopes to make up for a lack of scholarship depth and talent by having a team that controls what it can control. The Jayhawks want to be the least penalized team in the Big 12, lead the league in turnover margin, and be the best at special teams play. We've developed a very simple plan. I'm a simple guy, and it goes down like this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work hard, and the second thing we're going to do is we're going to earn everything we get. He brings in a lot of energy, a lot of juice, and he's making every player earn it. Nothing is given, and each and every day he's bringing the best out of us. If senior quarterback Michael Cummings can't return from surgery on a knee injury he suffered in spring practice, Kansas might wind up playing a freshman at quarterback. Now, junior quarterback Montel Cozart has some experience, but freshman Carter Stanley and Ryan Willis are in the mix. We have to try to get those young guys ready as fast as we can. And the thing that I, I, I would take my hat off to is the high school coaches across the country because those kids are coming in more and more prepared every year, which is allowing us to get them on the field faster. Uh, but it's one of those deals where we'll just have to see. Now, Beatty's rebuilding job is considerable, but he hopes to follow the blueprints that have led TCU and Baylor to the top of the Big 12 Conference. I tell you what, what two great examples are there out there for a program like us? Um, I tell you, Art Browse, former Texas high school football coach, one of my coaching heroes coming up. I watched that guy win a bunch of state championships right over there at the old Texas, uh, Texas Stadium. Phenomenal, been successful wherever he's been. Uh, Gary Patterson, one of the finest defensive minds in the country, one of the best head coaches in the country, cares truly about kids. Happy to see the success that those guys are having, and yes, it gives us confidence knowing that those programs at one point we're kind of where we are today. There really is no easy way to look at this other than Kansas will have a lot of work to do this season. The Jayhawks will have to rely on replacing 70% of their passing game, 64% of their rushing yards, and 93% of their total receiving yards. Look, with zero skill position players who started more than just one game last season, the present looks dull, but the future looks bright for David Beatty and the rest of the Jayhawks. One of the biggest things that Kansas could accomplish this season is winning a road game, a fate that hasn't been done, Wendell, since 2009. And when you look at their schedule, I think they could pull this off rather early on in the season. Thanks, Mitch. The Jayhawks get their season started at home against South Dakota State on September the 5th. For Mitch Gerber, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.